Hi all. In this video we will see best Python books for beginners and advanced programmers. Python is a general-purpose interpreted programming language used for web development, machine learning, and complex data analysis. Python is a perfect language for beginners as it is easy to learn and understand. As the popularity of the language is soaring, the opportunities in Python programming are amplifying. Like other languages, if you wish to learn Python programming, documentation is the best place to learn for beginners as well as advanced level programmers. In addition to documentation, books can also be one of a great source of learning. Books provide you with the ability to learn at your own time even if you are on the go and they go really in detail. In this video we will share with you the top 3 Python books for beginners and advanced programmers recommended by the Python community. Number 1. Python Cookbooks by O'Reilly Media. The Python Cookbook is a collection of problems, solutions, and practical examples for Python programmers, written by Python programmers. Over the past year, members of the Python community have contributed material to an online repository of Python recipes hosted by Active State. This book contains the best of those recipes, accompanied by overviews and background material by key Python figures. The recipes in the Python cookbook range from simple tasks, such as working with dictionaries and list comprehensions, to entire modules that demonstrate templating systems and network monitoring. This book contains over 200 recipes on the following topics, searching and sorting, manipulating text, working with files and the file system, object-oriented programming, dealing with threads and processes, system administration, interacting with databases, creating user interfaces, network and web programming, processing XML, distributed programming, debugging and testing, and so on. Number 2 Automating Boring Staff with Python by Jim R. Tyson. Automate the Boring Stuff with Python is a book that is accompanied by a website, some YouTube videos, and for pay a Udemy online course. There are 18 reasonable length chapters and 3 appendices. The first 10 chapters cover the absolute basics of procedural programming starting with simple interaction with the interpreter through variables and assignment, flow control, writing functions, complex data structures, strings, input and output and debugging. There are one or two other topics that it was interesting to see dealt with relatively early such as searching with regular expressions and file manipulation including compression, bulk filename routines, but they are simply explained and they make sense given the intention of the material or automating stuff. The book is well designed and clearly written. The website has the same material but includes an inline interpreter so that you can type code as you go, make mistakes and correct them, and see the results when, finally, you get it right. It would suit a learner whose aim is to write programs intended mainly for their own use. It doesn't cover some topics that are increasingly included in early training for programmers, for example version control or test-driven development, but for many learners overcoming the initial barrier to writing some effective code is more important than these aspects of best practice. The use of object methods, defensive programming and more can be tackled later. The second part of the book and course introduces the use of Python libraries for some common and useful tasks. This section includes a variety of projects including web scraping, working with spreadsheets and word processor documents, integrating email in programs. In a higher education context you might want to include NumPy, SciPy, Matplotlib but there are good tutorials for these, good at least for someone who already has basic coding skills and is familiar with the use of libraries, exactly where someone would be after finishing this course. They are good choices if you want to learn scripting to automate the boring stuff, maybe periodically grabbing data from a website or a spreadsheet and transforming it before writing to a new file for example. It's particularly nice that the website has an embedded interpreter, but if you would want learners to move on to an IDE eventually and perhaps in some context you might want to replace the use of the inline interpreter with IPython notebooks. Overall this is one of the best resources for beginning programmers. Number 3 Learning with Python How to Think Like a Computer Scientist by Alan Downey, Jeff Elkner, and Chris Myers 
Learning with Python is an introduction to Python programming and using the language to create excellent real-world programs. The book divides into 20 sections and also includes a contributors list and a way forward. The initial sections discuss the basics of programming and what makes up a program. Then it moves on to basic Python concepts such as variables, functions, conditionals, fruitful functions, and iteration. Towards the end, the book discusses the core concepts such as objects, inheritance, lists, stacks, queues, trees, and debugging. The book is available for free in a variety of formats, which include PDF, PostScript, gzipped RAR, and HTML. Users are free to download and print these files as the book has a license under the new free documentation license. The book translated in other languages such as Spanish, Italian, German and Czech, is available for download. Do not forget to like, subscribe and share. Thank you.